Today, we might get into a little bit of a heated disagreement depending on what type of parenting style I have versus Josh has. Basically, we're going to be talking about all things parenting. Welcome back to Your Cup of Tea podcast. It's your boy, Josh. And I am Katie. And welcome to Your Cup of Tea podcast. Like Josh B said, um, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys um, favorite and give us a good review on Spotify and, and Apple Podcasts, guys. Yes. Or if you're watching on YouTube, just hit subscribe. the subscribe button. It means a lot to us and it helps out the podcast. And that means we get to do more of these yeah today we are doing agree to disagree so for parenting advice or parenting rules i guess like yeah just parenting topics so basically we can strongly agree agree strongly disagree or just disagree so we're basically going to ask a question or a but statement we, we've actually like we know our core values but i feel like we've actually never had this conversation so to be having this conversation yeah. for the first time on camera i know on the podcast kind of could... makes me a little nervous because i'm like you know, we're going to touch on topics like, you know, is hitting your kids okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's not say hitting. I no, that like sounds that. bad. That sounds bad. See, and this is what we're going to get into. Oh. I didn't say it was Josh, okay. Josh, like, is beating the absolute crap out of your kids okay? Like, we're going to get CPS calls before we even have a okay, kid. Okay, babe. We're just having a discussion. No, here. I know, I know, I know. It's just the way you said it sounds so bad. Okay, anyway, um, do I just jump right into it? Go ahead. You I feel like question. this is so good because parenting, like there's so many different ways and I feel like there is no right or wrong way. I honestly feel like everyone has their own way that's going to work for them. And I feel like the main thing is to not judge other people for the way that they want to parent their own kids. Honestly, we're just excited for the whole um, journey and especially yeah. doing social media and everything like, we're gonna get a bunch of comments on oh you should parent your kid like this you should do you this do so this we're like we why not just bring it on now yeah you know, why because not? i guarantee in this podcast there's gonna be some agreements with the people listening or watching and yeah. disagreements and i'm sure we're gonna get an earful of comments but at so, the end of the day like i know all are welcome i'm welcoming it yeah I, want it. I know that we're gonna love our kid no matter what and no matter what way we decide to parent them they're our kid and that's the same way as like i feel like i'm not gonna tell another mom how to parent their kid kid because it's not my kid it's exactly. not really my place but anyway i do think it's a very interesting topic so let's just get into it go ahead are Kate. we are we like being controversial already <laughs> no there's no there's no controversy <laughs> no there really like, there really is a controversy idea. because i feel like everyone has the right to do what they want okay so anyway let's just start with the first one when it comes to rules and making rules for your kids do we believe that it's our way or the highway Okay, three, two, one. Agree. Disagree? Oh. oh, first one off the bat. Okay, okay. Idea, I'm I'm Explain heavily yourself. I'm heavily in between agree and disagree. Like somewhere I'm neutral. If there's a neutral, so option. you're saying if I give my kid like a rule and they break it, like it's not it's not just rules. I, I it's kind of like a little confused yeah. I guess it's question. rules and boundaries. The only reason I don't like the saying it's my way or the highway, I think that if you give your kid a rule, you definitely need to stick to what you said and there needs to be like consequences for the actions if they right. break it. But I don't always love the term my way or the highway because sometimes parents can be wrong too. No, I mean, parents are going to be wrong, but like at the end of the day, I think like you're going to have that like standard with your kid that it's like, if I say something like it goes, you yes. Know? And I like definitely, your kid should, I think your kid should have that respect for you as a parent and mm -hmm. like an adult to be like, okay, like he or she is saying this, like they mean it, they mean it. Obviously if now I, that just opens up a whole can of worms like it's like okay like maybe you're an entrepreneur and your parents are like you have to go to school and you're like well parents i'm not gonna go to school i'm gonna open up my own business and then you have a super successful business it was like well you didn't listen to your parents like i'm more seeing you with know this, like i, with I don't this know where question, you're going with question. i'm i'm more so thinking like younger kids that's what i'm thinking. so i guess so i would say definitely my way or the highway like i mean who's you think little five-year-old Brocky, I'm going to say, you know, like you're not eating ice cream tonight. He's going to be like, you're wrong, dad. I'm having ice cream. Yeah, yeah, no. So no, I, you listen I, to I agree with that. The only reason I said disagree is because I don't love that saying like my way or the highway because to me, it sounds just like being stubborn. Well, and just there's annoying. a difference yeah. of being stubborn. But I do think that when you make a rule, you have to stick to it because I've seen like in other situations with parents is like a kid their their parent will tell them no the kid will keep doing whatever they're not supposed to be doing and then they know that they're gonna not get in trouble so they keep doing it, and then they end up getting their way and then it kind of teaches the kid that that behavior is okay and that i don't think is right so i oh, guess that one i'm kind of like you know i yeah, guess I, don't I mean like I, yeah i would still say 
I agree. You know, okay. especially for a younger kid, 100%. Next one. Uh oh. Well, I, I, we already were 0 for 1 on agreeing. So, well, I feel like I could go either way on yeah, that. Yeah, I guess not it just really depends like how, like, if I feel like when we ask these questions, it just depends what, like, the first scenario that pops into your head, like, yeah. is. And the age. Okay. You shouldn't take your file, <laughs> your files. You shouldn't take your child's feelings into consideration. Three, two, one. Disagree. Strongly disagree. Oh, I thought you were going to say strongly agree. I was like, no. dang, screw you, little Brock or Broccolina. I think that you have to be weary of a kid's uh, feelings because when they're two, they don't know why they're feeling certain ways. They don't know how to express their words. But I don't think that you should never care about your kid's feelings. And that's where I don't like the saying, like, it's my way or the highway, because I feel like you still do want to care about your kid's feelings. Like, that's very important because you want to have a good relationship with them. No, 100%. I agree. But I, I just think that if we're talking about like such a young age, like let's let's go like through age groups, you know, if we're talking about such a young age, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you should definitely think of their feelings. But it's like, but obviously, two year old baby is going to be upset that they can't have another piece of cake. And you don't just cave into that. And like, because yeah, I care about your feelings. I hate to see you cry, but you're not getting another piece of cake. Sometimes I feel like parents. I feel like at such people, a young age, like it, these conversations almost like seem kind of like silly. But like yeah. now if we're talking about like a I don't know, like a 15 year old. You have to care about their feelings. Yeah, like now we're, it's a whole different ball game, like a hundred percent. I feel like, like if you can't go to your parents and talk about the feelings, then it's like, that's where they lack the trust. And it's like, if you totally. can build trust and obviously like we're saying what's ideal, but I know it's way harder than that because kids are, every kid is completely different. 100%. And they have their own personalities. They treat their parents different ways. But like, I feel like if you can really build that trust at like the high school, middle school age to where they can come to you with their problems rather than try and hide things from you, not to where they think you guys are like best friends and like, you're never going to get punished. Right. Like there's got to be a little bit of fear instilled in them that like, not fear, but like <laughs> fear me, <laughs> not fear, but like, they're not just my best friend. I can't just tell them all the terrible things I did. But like I can still tell them when I've messed up. I feel comfortable enough to open up about things that I'm going through, but not hey. to a point where you're like, they'll never ground me. They'll right. never, you know, I'll never do wrong. I think in life, honesty is always the best policy. Like yeah. even like, you know, if you're a kid, like talking to your parents or what, whatever it may be, like if you're just honest, you know, but, and, and and take ownership. I think that's mm -hmm. a, a big thing, especially in society today. Like people don't do that. Like, yeah, take ownership, you know, like uh, and uh, I think back to when I was a kid, like, you know, you always want to blame it on something. So, like, yeah. oh, I did this, but it was because of this. It's like, no, nah, like just. Owner. I think a good way to teach your kids to take ownership is to make them, obviously when they do something wrong, apologize. But then I think as a parent, like if you do something wrong and parents do things wrong all the time, even when they're, especially when their kids are older, that's when their kids can really resonate with this. I feel like if a parent can come to you and be like, Hey, I know we got in this heated fight. Like, I just right. want to say, I love you. I'm so sorry for the way I acted. She just be like, what you did was wrong. But like, it, I don't know. I just feel like when a parent can apologize, that says yeah. so much because I, it's so hard as a parent to apologize. I just had such, the authority. such like a weird thought in my head. Like I literally just, this doesn't happen to me often. I like zoomed into the future. That's a I, raven. I literally just zoomed into the future and like I'm imagining like little Brock or Broccolina like mm -hmm. having our podcast on the TV. They're like, hey, Ma mom, remember when you said <laughs> you should care about my feelings? Well, you hurt my feelings. I literally I was like, oh, my God, this is going to come back to haunt us in like six years. I, I mean, it's going to gonna happen. Like, that's the reality. That's it's like so parents, funny. parents make mistakes. Kids make mistakes. Everyone's 100%. human. But I think if you can apologize to your kids and have that connection to where that they know when you do something wrong, they can apologize. I feel like they're going to be more willing yeah. to want to apologize. That was to just you so well. weird. Like, I've never like I literally was oh, like God. so clear in my head. I'm like, and now I just like got uncomfortable thinking about like our kid going back and watching all our YouTube videos. I'm like, I've actually See, never, have you thought of that? I've never really thought of that. I don't even care. Cause no, I like, feel like, no, I, I feel like either. we're the type of people that would tell our kid like our life. Like I feel like, cause we both are, 100%. we're the type of people where it's like, even like our biggest fights, we were just talking about this the other day. Our like most vulnerable moments in fights, we've like exposed talk, on we camera. Talk we've about, talked about we it. We exposed on camera or it was on camera. There's nothing. <clears throat> I, well, I just losing her. Uh oh. There's nothing that I feel like we're like ashamed of because like everything we've been through, we've learned from it and we've grown from it. Totally. And I want other people to see that. So like, I don't have anything to hide. And even for my kids, it's like, yes, I'll tell them like, especially when they're in high school, 
I would love to be open and honest with if I had a teenage daughter of mistakes that I made and the reasons why it was right. not to just be like, oh, well, I was better and I didn't do this or, oh, like, I'm not going to tell my kid that I messed up. I'm not going to tell them. Certain, you know, there's certain things you See, don't I'm tell curi- them. Like, yeah, I'm curious, like when the time actually comes, like, and I'm not saying it's not going to be this way, but I'm like, I wonder if we will feel the same way. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm curious. saying? Because I, I know, like, I feel like I know where you're going with that. And I'm like, 100%. Like, why well, wouldn't you? But like, then again, I feel like a lot of parents, and I'm not talking about any, like my parents, her parents, any parents in spe- specific, like obviously, like I grew up with friends, like I saw how their yeah. parents were and stuff. And it's like, I feel like a lot of parents would like, hide a lot of like it's like oh like i never partied in school like i never did this i'm like but then you talk to like their their parents friends and they're like oh they were a big partier they did this and it's like why wouldn't you just be open and honest well i feel like it depends on how crazy you were you don't want your true yeah like i feel like i wasn't crazy in high school No, but i mean more so like if you learn from you know like oh i went to this party and like you know i got a misdemeanor like you probably shouldn't do this i think the difference is whatever it may be it's like if i was let's say i was like 15 16 and going to these parties and i was like crazy in high school i wouldn't want to tell my 15 year old that because then she'd be like well mom you did it you know that's the only problem it's like you get the well you did it why can't i but i feel like if you really weren't that bad and you had some bad experiences and if you're open and honest with your kid, I think to a certain extent that you can help them in their mistakes and feel like you're being vulnerable, you're trusting them, you know, True. with something and like you're just trying to give them a lesson. Yeah, but even if you were that 15, which you weren't, but even if yeah. you were that 15 year old that partied and did all this stuff, like now you can tell your 15 year old, it's like, hey, I did do that, but like I realized like these are the mistakes I made while six I did it. years later in life, like why I'm regretting that I did that yeah. or whatever it may be. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're going to have like more years to reflect. Now, if you're, if you're like, Hey, like I did it and it was amazing. Like you should do it too. Like then whatever, yeah. you know, whatever it may be. It just got like randomly dark in here. Uh, like the sun clouds are coming over the sun in Arizona. What's going on? I think that one's just a, a good topic in general. Yeah. Um, just cause I do feel like it's very important to care about your I feel like all these questions, we could go into like a oh, million yeah. different scenarios. Okay. But are you ready for the next one? Go crazy. Getting a nanny is wrong or bad. Okay, three, three two, two, one. one. Strongly disagree. disagree. I keep forgetting to put the strongly. In strongly front of disagree. It. Okay, here's my thing. Did we disagree? On Actually, one? I could say disagree. We I could say disagree versus strongly disagree. The reason I say disagree is because I think it's not wrong, but like everyone's circumstances are different. Well, here now we're going back into that situation. It's like okay, like are the parents just getting a nanny all the time because they don't want to be by their kid? Like yeah. you know what I'm I saying? I think like, getting like like you see. These movies are like these rich people, like super rich. And it's like, they're so busy doing their business that they have a nanny and the kids always have these issues because they've been with a nanny growing up their whole life and they never had a relationship with their parents. Now that I don't think is right. But do I think it's wrong? Because I know some moms will shame other moms because maybe that mom couldn't afford a nanny and then another mom could. And then they're like, well, I raised this many kids all by myself. Like the fact that you need a nanny makes you a bad mom or this or that. And to me, how I look at it is if you can afford help, then why wouldn't you? And if you if you're not Wait, sacrificing, stupid question. is a nanny like a babysitter, or you mean like someone that's like there, like a nanny a is a normally week? there, like on schedule. Like uh, it's a babysitter is like you're okay, going out okay. and you call a babysitter. Right. A nanny is like I'm there from like nine to five while you work, and then uh, I'm see. there from this time to this time. So like to me, it depends on the situation. Dude, if if, if you can make your life easier and why have more you? support and like another eyes on your kids, like. I say go, go for, for it. it, but like that's me not having kids at this very moment. But also, so like, I don't really know how I'm going to feel. I feel like someone with kids might say otherwise, or it's like someone who's had a bad situation with yes. a nanny. So like I've never yeah. experienced that. A nanny is very interesting because I feel like I would, I mean, especially for me and Josh. Like, I've only heard good things. I've like, heard, from I've some heard, people I've that heard bad know. stories though too, really? but most of the people we know it's good, but like social media, I've heard like crazy stories of like of nannies hurting of babies course. and things like that. That's what's scary is because you never truly know. Cause if you're leaving your kid alone with someone, you have to have such good trust in that yeah. person to really know their character. Because if you don't, you don't know what could happen. True. And so it would be a very trusting thing. And, and like, like, I feel like we're already so, tr- so trusting with yeah. like other stuff in our lives. I'm like, 
But it, you know what I'm not I trusting would be like, with? This might be a little different, though. You, you know what I'm not really that trusting with? What? Topper. I won't give Topper. I won't let anyone watch Topper. That's true. And so I feel like and Topper I, feels like my kid. No, I'm saying we'd be the same way with a kid. So I'm like, I don't know how we would do with that. Yeah. Because I'm very like, I'm like, oh, well, this person like 100% make sure the house is locked up or, or will they make sure Topper doesn't run out? Will they make sure he does in the street? Like, I'm so protected because I love him so much. And yeah. I feel like I'd be that way if we had a kid. I just love how we always like relate to like Topper. our dog because we don't have a kid yet so it's like that's all i mean yeah that's the closest thing we got the thing with nannies too is like i think it is good but also like i i feel like we'd be the type of parents who wouldn't just want to be like go with the nanny i don't want to see my kid for this long because i feel like with how obsessed we are with topper though and like we love him so much i feel like we would only love our kids so much more that we would want to be with our kid but i think if we could afford it the the luxury of being able to also still work on your passions and work on your careers so that way it's like because sometimes if you never get a break from your kids some parents build up resentment towards their kids True. because they don't get free time they don't get time for themselves and it's a really hard situation so i, I do, think if yeah, you avoid I do it want to say yeah that's one one big thing i think that like we gotta definitely be on top of is just making sure we still do the things that we love like whatever yeah. that may be and obviously you're gonna have to cut back like you make sacrifices and like yes, 100 always but but that doesn't mean like you have to like just cold turkey like never do it or like some like say you love working out like some people might just stop working out because they don't have time like yeah or I, like we like going on hikes or whatever it is it'll definitely be a learning curve for us but yeah. for me my main thing is to like i don't know i hear a lot of people who always like dog and having kids but they always have kids so they clearly love it but i know it, i know it's a hard job but to me i always want to be that person who's like this is like the best thing in the world and make the most of it. Like, obviously there's going to be days that are hard. I just think it depends on the people. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been in some bad situations in our lives or like unfortunate circumstances. Like for example, like breaking both my ankles before our wedding and our honeymoon and all yeah. that. Um, and we made the most of it. Like I don't ever go back and look back our, at our wedding and be like, oh, like my ankles were broken. It sucked. Like I totally yeah. could have had such a negative attitude that day. But like- yeah. You know, we made the most of it, obviously, as we should. We were getting married. But, like, just in any situation in life, I feel like we make the most um, of it. I'm just excited for, like, even if we have, like, a little baby, like, strap a little baby carry-on, go on a hike. Now that might look a little different because you might just schedule around their nap or different things. Like, I'm True. not I'm not so naive to the fact that I think it's just going to be a breeze. I'm just like, excited. Like I'm yeah, excited for I the challenge, all of it. Like, I don't know. It kind of excites me. Like, is it going to be hard? Is there going to be days I'm bright, like, bawling my eyes out because I'm stressed out? Yes. Like, I, I accept that. And I... It'll bring us closer together. Yeah. We're going to have, like, a mini us. That's... I'm I want to so know what excited. a baby's going to look like. But, I am so Okay, can we... Can, Can we, we be honest? The elephant in the room. We might have an ugly baby, <laughs> bro. Like, and, and we're just talking like baby, like, and and they'll they'll end up being cute. It's fine, you know. And again, maybe they'll know, be cute. Maybe they will. Everyone's unique in their own ways and beautiful um, in their own so ways. But we were both kind of like ugly babies, I think. See, I don't think you were an ugly baby. I had like an odd shaped head when I was a baby. Definitely. <laughs> Why was your head? And it wasn't like you had came out with like a cone shaped head. Your head looked massive, and you don't even have a big head. I don't now. think my head's ever grown. I think it just came out the <laughs> womb like full of size. I don't know. Okay, we can't tell if it's the way. So like his mom sent us pictures of him, uh, like of a baby, but they're kind of taken they're at like an angle. Pictures. They're pictures of pictures and they're taken at an angle. Just so they almost angle. look distorted. So we're like looking at these pictures because I asked her pictures from Josh's mom to see what our baby might look like. And I showed Josh. He's like, oh no. And I was like, I kind of thought the same thing. No. But I don't remember ever looking at my baby. Like my mom has a little baby album book. Yeah. And I don't remember ever being like, oh, I was a no, ugly you, baby. No, you but really like, weren't an ugly baby. I definitely baby. wasn't like a, like, you know, we have some friends that have babies and like, they're so They're cute. perfect. I wasn't, yeah, like, I wasn't like that. I'm like, y'all are setting the standards really high. And I mean, obviously we bro. don't care what our baby looks like. Like this is just kind of more so funny. And it's like, we just joke. no matter what, if we had an ugly baby or not, like you're going to love it more than anything yeah. because they'll end up being cute. Um, but I just thought it was so funny because I honestly, my parents always joke. They're like, yeah, you look like a monkey. You're like hair growing up your back. And I'm not even hairy. Like I don't get like crazy hair on my right. arms. I'm not like a hairy girl. But like for some reason I had like a back trail of hair. Yeah, what? I don't know, just when I was a baby. That's super weird. Yeah, and I had like a lot of hair coming out. You didn't though. I didn't. So I wanna know, or like will our baby I, I I'm just so excited. Regardless, there's gonna be a little mini us. So like it's, it's so exciting. Sick. Okay. Next one. You explain the reasons behind your rules as a parent. 
Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Agree. agree. I agree. I, it just, I, I don't know. I think I'm, like, okay. I'm going to say this every question. It just depends. Well, I'm every, not going to explain to my all, three-year-old why they can't have ice cream. The thing is, is PM, parenting but, is always, um, it's always situational. True. But the thing is, is like, you can explain to them. I think it's good for them to know, like, just be like, no, you're not having ice cream. And you explain and then they ask again, you say, I said, no, that's why. Like, and that's why, because you, you give them the explanation. So that way they know you're not just being mean, totally. but a two year old, a three year old, a four year old, five, they're going to think you're being mean anyway. If you say no, My they might have a meltdown line. if you say no. Why? Cause I said so. Cause I said so. <laughs> That's literally every parent. I hate parent. one of my parents Every that, parent. Because I said so. I was like, well, screw you. Like, I, I literally remember being a kid and being like, I can't wait to, I'm an adult. I can just have as much ice cream as I want. I can buy all the candy I want. And now when you're older, it's like, you are you can't just eat whatever you want. When I was, you're a kid, you can kind of eat like, you know. Yeah, you know what? Food. People people always say like, oh, I wish I was like a kid again, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I, you know how much freedom I got? I can go. I can go jump in the pool if I want. want. I can go buy Dairy Queen if I want right now. I can go do whatever I want. And like, you're not grounded. <laughs> the amount of meltdowns you have as a kid, it's it's crazy. And that's why, that's where sometimes I feel like parents are so, so cautious. It's like, they never want their kid to cry or to do these things. And I'm like, if you do, you don't even have to do anything wrong and your kid will throw a meltdown. Oh my God. You know what I just thought of? What? This is so random. Um, so we were talking to a cop in our area today that we're friends with at the gym. Mm -hmm. And um Be friends he, with cops. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, he just told me that if you know, if your kid is under like whatever age, like fifteen, riding a dirt bike. That's in just sub, in our neighborhood. In our neighborhood right now, because like there's some warning out, you get the parent gets arrested. That's but you know insane. what I just thought of? What? I almost took our little dirt bike to get the mail the other day. And I'm like, would I have got arrested for that? Like I think they would you would like if you weren't doing anything wrong, they might have. No, nah, it's more so kids like ripping through the grass and stuff. But, but little, you could have. Little Brock or Broccolina might just be that kid. So no, that's but that's where it's like you really got to tell them like because I said so. No yeah, is no. no. You're gonna give me a rest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Next one. You set limits, enforce rules, and give consequences, but your child's feel. It, but take your child's feelings into consideration. Agree. Agree, yeah. I, I feel like I that's kind of what we talked that, about. It's yeah, like you set limits, enforce rules, one. and give consequences. What? Oh, but this is giving consequences. Do you think it's okay to give your kid consequences? I Three, say two, one. Strongly agree. Strongly agree. 100%. Strongly agree. If a kid does something, you're and just there is training no them for life. Like in life, like you do something, you there's a consequence. Even if you do something good, there's a good consequence. Sometimes I feel like people are that's so very, negative though. Hold what? on. Cause that is, that's like, I feel like people would ask that like, oh, in a negative way. It's like, okay. But like, if my kid does something good, they're also going to have a consequence, a but like, it's a good one. It's a, yeah, you know like what a I'm reward. Saying? It's like just in life if, or when you're older, if you There's do something good. There's consequences to your like, actions. Yeah. Even as an adult, even as an adult, you have to learn these things. And the difference is, is no one's telling you yes or no, because right. they're not looking at, you don't have someone looking out for you as much, but you have to, you have to take the consequences. Like you do something wrong. Like that's that bad. You go to jail, you serve time. It's like, obviously that's an extreme, but it's like you, you do something, you speed, you get a ticket. There's always consequences Did to your actions. Did you ever steal candy from a store? No, but my, um, my sister did and she i don't because she was like very like what i think sister she, exposed biz, them. but it was an accident <gasps> it was an accident she i had her thinking she was gonna go to i was so mean for this so she was like such a good kid too um but like we just we would that's not like us like we wouldn't steal i would steal from my parents all the time i'd take quarters and dimes you savage from my dad's change drawer because i wanted i literally had a bad sugar addiction <laughs> like i needed candy because my mom never bought like our junk food was a couple of cheez -Its. We could have a handful of cheez -Its. So like I loved sugar so much and we never had it. So I'd like pull like two quarters from my dad's change thing, but only a little bit at a time. Then I'd run up to the candy store and go get some. Dang. It was bad. Dang. No, but, savage. but so Biz accidentally stole. So she like grabbed like three little things and they were like, they were like gumballs or whatever, or like right. sour warheads. Just put it in her and pocket. Forgot they were five for cents. No, no, no. They were five cents each. She gave them 10 cents. And then she's like, wait, I had three. And I was like, you stole it? You How stole dare it. You. I was like, Biz, you realize you could go to jail right now. Yo. <laughs> she was crying. Was she? I had her so scared. I was like, I can't believe you stole. I mean, I wanna really I wanna steal. like I'm gonna have to call my parents after this and ask them, but I don't I've never to my no. recollection like stolen. I don't know why. Like I feel like that would just 
eat me alive inside. Be like, yeah. What? I would just think someone's going to come knock on the door and come like. Yeah, I could never see Dave. you like doing. So- like, I feel like you're, you have like the. Worst, I was like- such a shy, like goody two shoe little kid. kid growing up. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I'm sure I did some bad stuff through that. All right, I have a question. I have a question. What? It's a bonus <laughs> one. You might not like me for this one. Katie is going to be a helicopter mom. Three, two, one. Disagree? Agree. You okay? So this is where this is our biggest we joke about this. We just controversy joke about though this. is Josh thinks that I'm gonna be like the crazy helicopter mom. No, no. Okay, but you're taking it out of context. I don't think you're gonna be crazy, and I'm not even saying it's wrong to be a helicopter mom. I'm just saying like you, you know, little Brock's around the house running around. All you, all of a sudden, do, 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 the helicopter's firing up. KDB, Brock. <laughs> just wait till we have a daughter and you're such a simp and a little softy that's and gonna like be a, true I you're the helicopter parent and i'm not i'm telling I've you i'm already calling said now. this babe i've already said this. <laughs> we have a little boy you know they get a little scrape on their leg like you know suck it up you know we have a little girl it's gonna be different yeah i don't know i'll we'll see i'm gonna be a little softy but I'm, one thing be honest. i do want to backtrack to the consequences because i just thought of this and this is why it's so important to have consequences and to set boundaries is because I feel like sometimes people are so afraid for their kids to be get worked up or upset that they don't want to tell them no on certain things. But it's like, if you don't tell them no, that's not, if you telling them no is not you hating your kid or being mean to their kid, you tell them they can't go into the street or near the street, you're protecting your kid, you're loving your kid. They might not understand it, even if you explain it to them when they're two, three years True. old, they might, they might have a meltdown, they might like, freak out and you might feel so guilty but if you didn't you'd feel much more guilty if something happened to them so that's why i feel like those are so important to implement on your kid i agree but okay next question and i'm not gonna be the helicopter mom you're gonna be the helicopter dad no I, let's be honest come on like little our little kid boy or Here's, girl is not like say they're like 12 years old like or I don't know. I'm trying to think. The but age. when I Hold think of helicopter here, mom, out, I also think newborns. Like I won't. I don't think I'll be no, like I'm weird. I'm thinking like, like the age. Like I'm trying to think when I was having that fight, and I think it's super smart to wear a helmet. I understand from my parents' point of view now why we are having this argument. But I would ride. I wanted to ride my bike in the street because the cool kids in my neighborhood rode their bikes in the street, not on the sidewalk. I don't know why. That, that makes no me. sense. And then also, none of the cool kids wore helmets, and I didn't want to wear a helmet, so I didn't. And we would have that fight. My parents didn't make me wear a helmet. And when I know something funny, this mom, like this like PTO mom, was so mean to me every day and would literally scold me, like scream at me every day about how I I need to wear a helmet. Not just like, you need to wear a helmet, sweetie. Like she was like, what are you doing? Your parents need to make you wear a helmet. She'd go off at me how every day. You? Like fifth grade. I rode my, and it wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't a little kid riding crazy. How like, old are you in fifth grade? I don't even know. I think 12? you're 12. No, no, you're like 10. Yeah, see, I think I was probably wearing a helmet back then. I'm th- I don't know. No one no one wore a helmet like Maybe not going then. to school. Yeah. And like when it I didn't it didn't matter, but she always was like screaming at me. And then one time she was like she said something so mean and I was like, "Well, you're not my mom and my mom doesn't say I have to." I'm so just saying to to you. I'm just saying like you're definitely and I think I would be the same way too because I've hit my head. I've hurt my head before. No, you got to think like our neighbors kids like they don't they don't i don't think they wear home like true and when they're not going fast and you're like right there i don't i'm not weird uh, i'm not saying that that's weird i'm just not so crazy cautious of things like that true. with you in dirt biking when you're jumping 40 feet in the air and i'm so i love you and yes i'd love our kid if they're going but if they're going four miles an hour they're going to be fine they might hurt themselves but there's things that i think you might i might tell them to but like as far as even like a newborn i feel like i'm not going to be that person who's like no one's holding my baby no one's doing this like I feel like I'm not much of a worry wart in that aspect. With you, you might feel that way because I've been a worry wart with you, but you are an extremist. True. And you are yeah. not like a little kid doing something. You're not a normal person doing something very safe. True, 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 true. Yeah. No, that's fair. And even you're if skydiving, you, if you, are, you do extreme sports. It's yeah, different. So you, they're telling you to wear a helmet because you're probably trying to do all these tricks. And the reason your parents probably told you not to ride in the sub is the the amount of like teenagers in that subdivision that you grew up in that probably go like 50 miles an hour and could just blast through kids. Oh, like driving. That's so scary. No, and that's what doesn't make sense to me. Why was it so much cooler to ride your bike? Like in the street because you weren't allowed to sidewalk like you it just like doesn't make sense no but it makes sense because it's so weird yeah it's weird, weird okay next one 
Is spanking your kids okay? Three, two, one. Agree. I don't know. Agree? Agree? I agree. Okay, so here's my thing. I, I got I got spanked when I was a kid. I, I don't and know. Look at me now. No, okay, so I this is my thing. I don't know. Like I was spanked as a kid and I don't think that there was anything wrong with it. I think I deserved it every single time. I think it was the only way my parents really could have got me to listen. But I don't know if if because like even like okay, spanking your dog. We don't spank Topper. I spank Topper's butt when he acts up. Yes, I do. You do? When he takes food off the table, did I not spank his butt? I feel like you've day? never hit him. I mean, but it's like a. I'm not. Pause. I'm not beating the crap. But out I guess. Of him. I, I guess. Spank his butt. I guess if Topper does do, I just tap his nose. Like I just go like that, but I yeah, don't hit like, him hard. Like yeah, I'm. Not, it's like pause, so they know. Yeah, I'm, I don't hit hard. Well, that's hard. why I was like, I don't think you spank Topper. But. I, I think spank and hit are two completely different things in my book. You know, it's like yeah. Um, you know, it's like a. No. Like Topper, no. I I feel like w with him, I like more so like I'll tap his nose and be like, no. Like, but like that was more so when he was like a puppy. Like now he know, like, you he know, knows. you do it and like tell him no. Make sure he understands that no means bad. And like now if he does something, I'll be like, no. And he knows that I, I'm like not happy. Like so it's a, I feel only, like. I, I've only tapped I've, his butt like once in the past like two years i could even think of i'm curious if when we have kids like if we're really gonna still feel that way though because you might feel so bad but also i don't i don't think any parent wants to spank their kid like no. i don't that's not like the the thought behind it in my opinion no. it's like i don't i would never want to spank my kid no but if it was necessary this, so is that the I? opposite yeah. of gentle parenting then because i agree with some things with gentle parenting but then there's some things well, I think gentle parenting could go everywhere. It's like I just think that's like a word people put on like parenting. I don't I don't know. I don't know the exact definition of what to me, I think is. I think there's things that you can talk to your kids and it doesn't have to you don't have to spank them. But I think if you say you're gonna do something, then you do it. And a lot of times like I've seen a lot of kids in my family like be spanked and it's not bad. It's like literally if it's like a three year old, you tell them no and they do it and, and then you say, Okay, if you do it again, you're gonna get spanked. And they literally and they're wearing a diaper, they tap their butt. No, that's like what that. I'm saying. It's and they like and they cry. A little tap. And some people would say that's so wrong, but I'm like, but you're kind of teaching them that that's not okay to do. And yeah, the they're gonna have a meltdown, but you're not actually hurting them. And right. like the only thing I think I disagree with spanking now, I feel like I might have got spanked a little hard when I was like eight, nine, like that age. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I got the belt. To the I got, I, I got. got the spoon. I don't, I don't really know if I agree with that necessarily. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it, but like, I don't think it was wrong when they I, yeah, did it. Yeah, I was to gonna me. say I don't think anything, especially my, my parents. Just speaking from them, like I don't think they did anything wrong. Anytime I got spanked, I a million percent deserved it. Uh huh. And you best believe I didn't want to. I didn't want to do whatever I did to deserve it again. I think after getting spanked, like I didn't enjoy getting spanked. I think know? there's ways you could definitely go maybe around getting a spanking, but then also sometimes I don't know. Like I feel like that's one of those things where we can't even give a definite answer until like we go through yeah. it and we see because like if we can go around totally not spanking our kids and like them still like uh, listen to what we say and do everything, I think then that would be the goal, obviously. But then obviously. That might I don't know. I really have no idea but because I don't eat. Yeah, the one I thing I can say eat, is so. with my childhood, like I feel like I deserve all it. my friends growing up and like yeah. to this day would all sit in this chair and tell you the exact they got their Ass asses beat. beat. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, when I say that it sounds their parents bad. weren't they got spanked them. growing up. But they all have loving rightfully great parents. So. Like like I, rightfully I so was bad. Spanked. Like it, they would tell me no, then I would like act out and then they they like ground me and then I literally like I was like I don't care, it didn't hurt. I just <laughs> think bad. like the idea <laughs> of getting I think like the idea of it like sounds so bad or You're like beating your kid i don't want to see somebody else spank their kids like you know like Aww. i feel like that would make me feel like not uncomfortable but like i don't i don't know go punish your kid like over there like yeah but i also don't want to hear someone like yelling at their kid i feel either. like even like, when a mom's the like same situation yelling at their kid like a yeah, lot I don't you feel you're like okay this i feel like, bad okay, like this is kind of weird yeah so i don't know like i don't i just feel like because like i don't really like i definitely i think it's good to punish your kid but i like Hitting your kid to a certain extent, I think, is definitely wrong. I don't know where I, I really don't know where I feel on that. Like I, 
I very like, I have no idea because I, I can say on my childhood, but like as being a parent, I haven't been there yet. So I really can't say that like a hundred percent, I think a kid needs to be spanking or like, no, I will never hit my kid. Like I'll I think never... you just need to know like what your kid responds to too. I think it's yes. unique to like every all kid is kids. different. Like it's like if my kid's the type of kid that like gets spanked and then like go does it 10 times worse, like, okay, they're not responding to that kind of thing. Like, what is it that they'll respond to? It's like everyone, everyone's different what they respond to. Like some people, like for example, <laughs> like athletes, <laughs> well, we'll come to that, but like for athletes, some athletes do way better when they're being called like, Oh, like you suck. Like you're being a little girl. Like some athletes do really well. I don't like respond. Well I don't well. respond well to that. I respond to positive or like, Hey, like here's how we're going to get better. Like I respond better to that, like positive energy versus the negative. Some people do way better when they yeah. got that negative. Like you'll never make it. You suck. Blah, blah, blah. That ain't me. I um, think, but like same with like some kids don't respond to getting spanked. I'm sure. Or I, okay. This, I don't know why I feel like, spanking because like when i think spanking i don't think like i mean because that can be taken so yeah i don't know drastic. what you're imagining to me like, it's I'm like, like i'm talking like this my baby right here i'm like no like no it's that. more about like it's like because like i've seen so many like of my nieces and stuff it's like it's like no and they go like that and they're like no like they freak out because they just got yelled at more so than like the spanking but hot sauce and soap hot sauce i don't my parents have what like, is hot sauce where you put hot sauce if a kid does something bad on their tongue i've never heard of that You've never heard of life. that no um and I've, then, ha I've got the soap in the mouth like soap in the mouth in seems mouth. mean to me like, i don't know why it's really not that bad you're weird i don't know why i feel like i couldn't do that to my kid but like i i don't know i don't have kids I, maybe i got so worked up i could but i don't i don't know that's something i don't yeah think. i'm actually i don't know like imagine putting freaking soap in top i can't mouth. even actually I remember know. how that even went down i don't know if i ever got soap i definitely I got I just got like soap wash started washing my hands and then like put it in my mouth i don't even know it's not like, like no no one ever soap. put like a bar of so like a bar of soap a I've bar of soap like a bar of soap you've never heard mouth. of washing like kid, like parents like when you're bad like put soap in their mouth no, I I did put so I had to do that. I never got a bar of Your soap. Your parents made in my you mouth. put it. In. Yeah, like we had squirt out soap. You know, like, drink it? like swish it around, spit it out, wash your mouth out. You know, be better. Like that happened like once in my life. I think I'm pretty sure my mom put hot. She tried like hot sauce one time on me, and I put it, and like I didn't like spicy things. I freaked out. Like I thought that was so awful. I, yeah, the hot sauce I've never. But now actually, I've been like, I don't think I've ever. But I've heard of so many really kids, like their parents did that, and they're like, I liked it, so I was like, That's a. I've never heard of a kid getting yes. hot sauce put on their mouth. Yeah, that's unique. I don't know why those seem a little mean. That just seems kind of like funny, like ha. Huh? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It seems mean. I feel like you're like bullying your kid. Yeah, like, like I don't know. I don't know. Who who knows? Okay, giving out consequences is wrong. It's kind of what we were just talking about. I disagree. I disagree. Yeah, we, like we, already need, yeah. we already talked about that. We already talked about that. You have to ask permission to hug your kid. Three, two, one. Disagree. disagree. I, I mean, if you were like a stranger trying to come hug my kid, I feel like, yeah, that a would stranger, just be random. stranger. Yes, I feel like you shouldn't just go up to someone's kid that you don't know and hug them. That's weird. But I've seen a lot of things on TikTok of like people being like, "Oh, aunts and uncles just think that they can come up and hug." To me. I don't know what kind Your of relationship. Family. Well, like, I don't know what kind of. Of course, you can hug my the, kid. The thing is, I don't know what kind of relationship they have, though. Like, with all my aunts and uncles, I never have felt that weird. Like, it was always like, run up and hug them. Like, because you love them, you're close with them. Yeah. But maybe if, like, an uncle that you've never seen and he's creepy and he's like forcing a hug, like, that might be different. But I feel like. Well, to me, like. As a parent, would, you don't uh, surround your kids with creepy never people. never seen your uncle, like, ever. Like, why would he be meeting your kid? It'd yeah. Be kind of random. But, like, I, I think. 100% like family close friend like to me I always say like friends are family like yeah if you're in our circle like your family too so I don't know I would I would never I don't look at hugs as I like would a weird my, my or like inappropriate friends thing. or like family would like literally like come up and like I'm holding your baby now like, if like a stranger's like kissing on my baby I feel like that's weird what yeah and that's weird I, I agree yeah. but like family friends like I don't care like it's like if you're loving on my baby I'm not gonna I'm not gonna 
be mad i don't think about right. that like i don't think i would be like unless they were like <laughs> like all up on the lips and they're trying and like during rsv or like all that stuff that's a little different of keeping them like not sick and stuff yeah but i'm saying like the thought of it doesn't that doesn't because like i used to kiss like my nieces all the time would i so maybe like, be nervous if like that one like super clumsy friend and like oh, really yes. wants to hold my newborn like yeah I'm yeah but, but that's, like bro you clumsy sit down yeah and i'm gonna sit right next to you while you hold my that's my also baby. just like protecting your kid though yeah. but i don't know because i was always just so close with my aunts and uncles and my mom also one thing i think my parents did a very good job is protecting what adults we were around true and like even if we had sleepovers at people's houses my mom had to know everyone oh, it, yeah, it had to be so like different like 100 like, percent. and that's where like, it's being like protective it's just being protective totally okay. over like what what like older men are around your daughter and like what or even around your son and just yeah. being very cautious of that um my mom said really good at no yeah you gotta be and, i mean um, it's your kids your job is to protect them the good thing i was gonna say is like i feel like our families and like our closest friends it's like they all are like i don't i don't know loving how to say affectionate this. Like, really good like with like baby like yeah i don't know how to say this but like like Jeremy had younger sisters. Like Chris has nieces and nephews. They're like all just they all have, good. They have like, good hearts. Good. They yeah, love babies. I don't know, I don't they know love. How to say that. What up? I don't even know where I was trying to go with that. But like, I just think they're all gonna be like super excited. Yeah. Like, no one's gonna be like, what is? It? Maybe. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who might be like. I don't think anyone. I don't would think be. anyone. Nah. Okay. Let's see. Um, time out is. Time out. Is it okay? 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah I feel like, like we've kind of talked on like the parenting. I was in timeout a lot. You know, <laughs> the I worst actually, was being like, in the corner. Barely. Okay, I never had to do that. I I really like never got put in timeout. I'm, well, I'm telling you I was a good kid. Like I would get home from school and go kick a soccer ball against the wall in the backyard like or play roller I, hockey in the backyard with friends. It's like, and that's the I thing. not really do anything bad. Is everything is to an extent. Like it's not like my parents spanked me all the time. Like it really was rare. Like the my only parents, thing. my parents, they said they're like, we hated it. It's like parenting, yeah like spanking your kids or even just like parenting or telling them no it's like you don't want to punish your kids you just want them to be good right. and like be happy you know yeah i was the only thing I, I remember getting yelled at for is like having a sleepover with our friends in the basement running around and like we were being loud like we'd stay up all night we were jacked up on like mountain dew and my yeah. mom like would just be banging the walls banging the wall like when she would bang on the wall that would mean we were being way too loud and you're scared you're like uh -oh. and then if she banged on the wall and yelled i was like yo you guys are gonna have to go home you're like better, guys chill you gotta act right yeah time out time out sucks but yeah. it really i'm pretty sure like i got put time out at like my friend's house too <laughs> really yeah like, like another parent put you in time out it was it was you know the childhood best friend guy that i grew up with like his mom like babysat us all the time so it's like wasn't really like a random going to my friend's house yeah, it was like true. we were always over at you his house or my house time. and so like we'd be putting the time off <laughs> okay anyway um you being, guys probably deserved it by the way you guys did. definitely deserved i deserved being a time out or punishment you got being on a strict schedule with a little baby agree or disagree three two one Ag disagree agree agree I mean, I don't know. I haven't had a kid yet, this but one I, feel, is very, I feel like... Not, okay, okay, strict takes bad. I feel like with a baby, you have to be on a schedule. There is no, like, non-schedule. Again, with a newborn... You, I've never had a newborn, and then, like, also, like, I'm not around, like, my friends with their newborns, like, that often, like, to know, yeah. like, what their 100% strict schedule is or if they follow one. From what I've heard but I don't from know. my friends babies. I feel like it babies. just kind of happens. Like when they're going to nap, like they nap and it becomes like a, a schedule. schedule. But, but it makes your, this but is what I've heard. Strict, is I like, like if you stay to the schedule, it makes your life so much easier true. versus like, but I also want to be somewhere in the between of where you could be flexible too and right. go with the flow and not like my whole like life revolve around the schedule. But also I think sometimes you might have to make the sacrifice and be a schedule. So that's one I have no idea on. That's right. something we'll just have to learn and navigate like as we have a newborn, which like, I, I would say, you know, like just like us as people, it's like, you know, we go to bed pretty much at the same time every night, yeah. maybe one night out of the week, it gets a little disrupted. Yeah. And I think it'd be like the same thing for a baby. Like we eat food at the same time pretty much every day. Maybe one day of the week it's different. I mean, obviously with the baby, they have to be probably the only reason I'm thinking schedule, but like I'm just saying, like, you know, does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. With a know. newborn, I think you just have to be on a little more schedule because it is so demanding, especially if like you're breastfeeding, you burp. I all think that if a stuff. newborn's gonna sleep, it's gonna 
it's gonna sleep. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Like if you're if you're out to like a restaurant and it was like, oh, we're cut. Like oh, I I wouldn't be like, oh my god, we gotta go. Like it, it's the scheduled nap time. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, like my baby's gonna get fussy. And, you know, like we should start wrapping things up because it's like nap time I'm really, or whatever. You know, this is know. a conversation I, I kind of want to come back to and like see where we're at. Yeah, it's people. very unique to. But like our I lives are pretty, pretty not scheduled, but like it's not routine we're not enough like to where it's like totally. I don't see it being a problem. If that yeah. makes sense. OK, this one's a good one because it's not really talking about little kids. It's talking about like teenagers tracking your kids phones when they're teens. Is that OK? Ooh. Three, two, two one, one. Agree. agree. Okay, to an extent. So my parents never tracked my phone because it. I mean, it was a feature. I don't even know if that was a but thing. But they, when they, I was a kid. we, I wasn't. We weren't that tech savvy. Like we didn't uh. know that was a thing. And to be honest, like I had a very good relation with my parents. I never really lied to them about where I was going. They knew I didn't lie. So like, they knew where I was. I didn't really go anywhere or do anything bad. Now the reason I say agree is because not to like stalk your kids and be like, oh, this is like the speed you're going, this is that, which is fine too, because it's like, you wanna make sure your kid's safe. That's why parents are stalking, or I say stalking, why they're tracking their kid is because they care about their safety. It's not because they wanna control them, it's because they care that I you're would safe. Uh give an example like i have your location and you have mine and it's like i've checked that on my phone maybe once in our relationship just because yes. you didn't text me back and i'm like did she Only get to where see, she was going safe see i feel like you go more places that are further and i check your location whenever you're supposed to be at um like skydiving i don't even check that you're at skydiving or the drop zone i uh, i like look and i'm like oh that like you're safe like i don't check it to be like where is he who is he and i feel like no, that's that. the different and i don't check it every time because I only check it if you don't text me and I text you, hey, are well, yeah, you safe? Yeah, so text me to you don't like, text, me, I'm text like, me when you're safe and, and you get there. And then like, I like, sometimes I forget. We we used to not have each other's locations for a long time. And then I was like, oh, someone's like, you guys should for safety. And I was like, you know what? And then we're like, that's, that's kind true. of a good idea. So I was like, you can check my location and see if I'm safe or but like if I'm not Another example is like, we have cameras at our office, at our house. And it's like, I don't, you know, I've, I know some people that like check stuff like that every day, all day. And it's like, I only would ever look at that if there was an issue. Yeah. You know, like same with like, same with my, having my kids location or I would want whatever. my kids location. So like if you didn't text me when I, I told you to text me, when you get to Bill's house, um, I'm going to check. I'll make sure you're all right. And now I'm going to yell at you for not texting me. No, for me, the main thing too is like, like you just said, like my parents, like I, they would be like texting when you get there. And then like, let's say I went to my boyfriend's house or like ex-boyfriends and it was, I didn't respond because let's say we were like watching a movie and I left my phone upstairs or something. And then like my parents are blowing up my phone, yeah. not because they want to control me, but, and it feels like that as a teenager sometimes, but like as a parent, you're like, I just want to, you're so worried about your kid, but if you can check the location, make sure they made it there safe. Like, and then be like, Hey, I told you to text me. I know. Me. I probably me? gave my mom hell because like we yeah. were like, my parents were like super cool. Like it wasn't like a curfew. You have to be home at this time, but it's like, it would just be like, yeah, like let us know what's going on, and it's like, you know, when it, when you're I mean, like 16 years old, like you're just not thinking about that. How like scary. you're hanging out with your friend group, and like we were like bike riding across subdivisions, yeah. like main roads and stuff. So it's like, I, my mom was always, you know, like I can't sleep until you guys get home. And that it's was like when we're coming is. home at like two in the morning, one in the morning. It's like you were allowed to do that. Yeah, not not every night, like on a Friday, you know, until 12:31. Like I don't know, 16. Dang. I had to be home by like. That's I was a good kid though. It's not like my we mom was doing like wrong. We were there like, was like a curfew, wasn't there? We were like having a bomb. Wasn't there like a 10 p.m. curfew? All yeah. kids like had to be like. Sure, but like who? I just was that? scared of the law, so my parents were like. Yeah. I don't know. I could be wrong. My but parents. Like, I'm pretty sure. Well, there all was my a friends, curfew. We all lived in the same subdivision. It no, wasn't I get like, that. But my parents, my parents said that like, and there was a curfew, and my parents kind of blamed it on the law rather than them being like, you need to be home. They were kind of like, it's the law. Like, you can't. Like, you'll get in trouble. And I was scared of getting in trouble. So yeah, I was but like, I, okay. So this might have even been younger than 16 because I wasn't driving at the time. Well, so I guess. the driving, there's definitely a curfew. Yeah. And like, I I obeyed that. for You know, like, if I was down the street at my friend's house, like, whatever. Yeah. But, but yeah. So maybe it was even before. I was even younger then. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's good to track your kids to make sure that they're safe. But, like, I know it can be, anything can be taken advantage of, too. 
And even that's if it comes to boyfriend and girlfriend relationships or husband and wife, like it can be like, okay, are you stalking them? Are you actually just making sure they're safe? Right. Because I don't think I've ever checked the location and be like, oh, he's not where he said he is. (laughs) Like you're always where you said, you've never not done something that you said you weren't going to do. So I have no reason to believe that you wouldn't be where you're going to be. But like, I'll check it to make sure you're safe because I get so nervous because I care so much about you. I'm like, So trusting, you know, we trust each other. All right, one more question. Okay, is this the last one? This is it. Okay. Take a good one. Oh, I want one more after that. All right, bet. Okay. Go ahead. I don't have the Actually, I have two quick ones. I don't have them. Okay, I have two one. Okay. Um, Looking through your kids' phones while they're teenagers, is that okay or not okay? Ooh. Okay, three, two, two one. one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm in the middle because it just depends. Like, if your kid, if you were so- It's always a trusting. Like, if I was so scared that my kid was going to self-harm themselves or something very serious was going on, I would check their phone. Now, would I be going through my kid's journal? I think that's an invasion of privacy, 100%. And I would not want my mom doing that. No, I know. But, like, I'm just thinking, like- Would it be hard not to? Yes. Yeah, like, you would be so tempted. But, But I I wouldn't want to. I'd be, like, like uncomfortable to see whatever the right- I would hope my kid would have enough- trust in our relationship to be able to come to talk to me but also like if i was concerned for their safety then i 100 percent would go through their phone but i don't think i'd go through their phone just my parents didn't really go through my phone but i wasn't Same. doing anything bad um they would ground me from my phone they wouldn't go through i would say phone. if it, it depends on like you know what is your kid doing are they being sketchy or they yeah. acting weird like you think they're doing something like like if they you thought they were like doing drugs, drugs yeah then i'd like, be going what through are their they phone doing? you know sometimes there's definitely okay situations yeah or if I thought something like really bad was happening yeah. or if they were in like a serious toxic relationship and there's some, there's like a boundary of a line you might have to cross and go th- grab their phone. Yeah. But, but I feel like you can kind of see part. that stuff like from the outside looking in, yeah. like not even have to go through a phone. Okay, but, last one. Uh, this one I think is interesting. Buying your kids a ton of things if you can afford it. And I'm so thinking I'm more at like, they're old enough to know that like, mom, I want this, dad, I want this. Okay. Three, if you can afford it though. Okay? Three, two, one. Strongly disagree. I guess I don't know how to how the question was worded. Actually, I I think I strongly disagree. So if if like let's say our if we're it wasn't like a agree. Okay, let's say we we make millions question. and millions of dollars, right? Our our son or daughter turns sixteen. We're buying them a car because they asked for a car. Oh no, I. Or we're buying you're them. You're getting them the dopest car. Like yeah. you're getting them the nicest bags. Or, or like, because you can afford it. Or you're you're getting you never say no to them. Spoiling your kid. You're spoiling your That's kid. That's what you're saying. I I don't. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to. We're. I feel like we're both on the same topic with this. I really don't want to spoil my kid. But one thing I do want to do, since we'll probably be able to afford and help them out, is I want to be like, okay, you want this? Like, if you get all good, all good grades, or not even grades, because I don't even want to put pressure on my kids for like grades and stuff like that. Um, obviously, no, I want them to do I good. I want them. Like, I would sit my kid down if they're 15 years old and like, I want to. I want this car when I turn. How are you 16, gonna get it? I'd be like, how okay. are you gonna get it? How are we going to work towards that? Like, what are your goals? Like, what what is your, you know, what are you trying to do? Like, what do you want to succeed at? You know, I, I don't know. It's all like, you know, what I'm, I love? A, I'm a big rewarder. It's like if if my kid was like, say we're talking to boy, dad, I want to be the quarterback of the football team. I'd be like, that's great. Like, how are you going to do it? Because you didn't make it this year. Yeah. Be like, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. before school every day. I'm going to throw 100 passes a day, whatever it is, you know, like. And then if they did it, I would reward that. Because I'm like, hey, like you worked so hard, you got it. Like I Shaq was on a podcast and he said something really funny. He's like, Yeah, my he's like, my kids know because I mean obviously he has like so much money. Yeah. And he always tells his kids, he's like, I'm rich. You're poor. Exactly. I'm rich. I have money. I'm good. You're broke. <laughs> like, and that's not even like a hundred percent what I'm saying, but I think it's like I thought it was so good that my parents, they didn't just buy me whatever. They were like, oh, you you want that? You Oh, you want a Jeep Wrangler? Okay, how are you going to get it? Because we're not paying for it. Like, we're not. And, like, my parents didn't have the money to help me pay for it. So it was obviously a little easier. But I still think that they put, there was things that they could afford. And they were like, okay, you want that. But we need, we're going to teach you how to work for it and earn it yourself. Because the feeling of working for something versus someone giving you something is so much more valuable. Right. And it feels so much better. Well, I think you and that's what I think I want to teach like, you Throughout kid. the years of your kid growing yeah. up, too, that it's like it's earned not given like yeah. i think if you i would want to instill that from like a child all yeah. the way up so it's like i i don't even think our kid would expect that did your parents 16, ever say like know? if you won a soccer game if you won this would go out for ice cream because my parents did that all the time 
Yeah, like just a, like messing around. Like, oh, score a goal today. We'll get like Dairy but Queen. But I feel like something. they normally did. But like, we were getting Dairy Queen either way. Probably, I'm pretty but. sure. <laughs> um, I feel like my parents were pretty strict to it. Like, they're like, oh, you scored three goals. We'll That's go. funny. But like, as we were older. So, like, it gave us like, we're like, that but we already had the motivation but it's like just an exciting no it just makes it more fun yeah that's that's just a little fun stuff but. yeah but i definitely don't want to just be like oh you want that like okay i'll get it for you like hopefully I think um yeah um hopefully we didn't trigger anybody or offend um, anyone or offend anybody i feel These like the only our own thing thoughts we don't have kids yet so like obviously i think in like if we're still podcasting in five years, we come back and do the same podcast. And it, it's going to look way it. different. It'll look completely different. We're I'm not sure. parents yet. So this is just like our perspective of what we think. I feel like the only thing that might trigger people is the whole spanking thing. But I think that could also be taken out of context. Like, okay, again, yeah. It's, not beating your kid. Yeah. It just depends what, yeah, everyone's different. But, yeah. um, what was I gonna say? This is a really fun podcast. I don't know why. It's like interesting topics. Like I like talking well, about Well, yeah, and it's things. always easier said than done. Like obviously we're sitting here. We don't have kids yeah, yet. We it's don't like, have. of course we can sit here and be like, yeah, like, you know, I want to I would I never don't put soap my in my kid, kid's mouth. I would well, never, I would do, never this. do this. But, but like some moms could be listening and be like, well, I've done that. Be like, okay, but we don't we haven't had kids yet. We haven't well, been yeah, pushed. Our little, buttons haven't been pushed. When little Broccolina is saying the F bomb at five years old, you know, because her friends think it's cool. Okay, that's what's gonna be hard. How's like, the soap taste? No, no, no. How's the soap no. taste? No, that's where it's gonna be hard is when your kid does something inappropriate or bad, but like you can't laugh because they think it's like funny. Oh, like when that's they're really gonna little? be a challenge. When they're really little it's like even if they're five and they're like they're like is bitch a bad word fucking bitch and then you're like oh my god like this is so bad but like also like how did this happen so like sometimes yeah, they're getting that America. from their mama then no <laughs> no <laughs> where are they getting that from i don't know well uh, we will have to be very cautious about swearing because not like so beyond crazy but like my parents didn't really swear when i was growing up yeah i just think yeah yeah i don't know but I mean, some so like a lot, like my nieces, they grew up hearing swearing. They're not allowed to swear. They know. To be continued. That's another one. We could do this all day. That's why, <laughs> you know, called the JD journey. We're going to find out. Yeah. But you know, anyway, like, we love you guys. We appreciate all the parents yes. out there too. And, and remember, if you're a kid watching, respect your parents. Be good to your parents because and at the end of the day, right, but they just love you. They just True. love you. True. They want the best for you. That's all they're trying to do. And they're doing it in the best way they can. May they do things that mess up. Yes, but everyone's human. Everyone deserves second chance. Big so facts. love your parents. Preach. And anyway, this we love you guys. This is your couple of tea. Make sure you guys favorite it or favorite it. What What's wrong? Is what? it favorite? Is it favorite? Give it a five star. <laughs> Give it a five star review. Check um, us out on, on Yelp. <laughs> on anyway. Spotify. And subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye, guys.